we're here with Matt Newton, local superstar here. Uh, what's your thoughts on tonight's racing and what grid are you starting in and how are you going to take it? Uh, I'm on inside of row four. Um, I'm just going to take it like a normal race, use the bumper, try and clear a few out of the way and hope we're in with contention at the end. Previous positions in this um, competition, what's been your best and what's been your worst moments? Um, basically, I, I've had a third place here at Kings Lynn a few years ago. Um, I've also had a third elsewhere. Um, my worst well final experience was I was winning at Coventry and ran out of petrol and you know and people laughed oh you didn't fill up but it wasn't I just there'd been a lot of rolling laps and stuff and uh, I didn't have a big enough tank in the car and basically it ran out so that was my worst moment and hopefully that's not going to happen today yeah well you're a crowd favorite by the looks of things on the net uh, providing you get fuel in the car, you'll be one of the men to watch. Who's who's your biggest rival on the track for tonight? Um, not so much rivalry, but obviously Tom's probably the the out and out fastest man, so he's probably the biggest threat on the track. But um, he's also got a lot of enemies, which could you know play in my favour. Maybe who knows? But I'll just run my own race and you know let them boys get on with it. And if I have to deal with them, then I have to deal with them. That you know that's that's fine by me. Yeah. Oh, good luck for tonight. Um, sure, many people will be watching and hoping for the win for you. You've done it for plenty of years and it's probably your time. So good yeah, luck. I'm well overdue. Yeah. How are you feeling tonight? Yeah, calm, collected. This is how it is. Uh, how was your time trials? Uh, we managed to come home in fourth place, uh, first Kiwi. Uh, it's given us row six for the world final on the outside, so she'll be busy. But looking forward to it. Hiya, I'm Bradley Harrison, number 25 in Brisker Formula One stock cars. We're from Sheffield in England, and this car is sporting a 4.34 V8 Chevrolet engine, punching out about 650 brake horsepower, so it's got some kick in it. I'm on row 11 inside for the world final today at Kings Lynn, and we're hoping for some carnage at the front to try and sneak through and get a win. Um, I'm 22 years old. This is my fifth season in Formula 1s, and I'm the son of Formula 1 driver Paul Harrison, uh, the 2011 world champion, who's raced in New Zealand a few times and thinks it's fantastic over there, the whole environment, the crack that everyone has together. So I can't wait to go over in the next few years and hopefully join in with the GB Lions. Before Formula 1 stock cars, I raced our junior formula for 11 16 year olds, national mini stocks. In that, I was British champion in 2008 at just 11 years old, and I then went on to win the national championship, which is our highest accolade, at 14 years old at Skegness. So racing's been in the family. My granddad started 65 years ago. He was one of the founding fathers, raced from the very first season up until 1989. So a Harrison name has been on track right from the very start till the present day. It's going to be great to share the stage with my dad on the world final today. Can't wait to pull out in front of all the crowd, give him a wave and hopefully get some trophies to take home to the family. I'd like to thank my family and team for all the hard work that goes into the car, all the support and the funding of of the thing they're not the cheapest things to run as I'm sure you guys are aware with your super stocks at home so I'd like to thank them and hopefully I can do them proud today I think there's some real talent in the New Zealand drivers to be fair Jordan Dare was here two years ago it was a tarmac world final then which obviously you guys aren't used to but he had a race here in the Grand National at Kings Lynn where I think he picked up a third place and he was one of the quickest cars on track. So I'll be keeping my eye on him cutting his way through the pack and hopefully he doesn't arrive in my mirror too quickly. Also, Jaden Ward, he had a fantastic performance last night and two weeks ago at Kings Lynn. Uh, he was really one to watch out for. He was up to a potential winning position in his heat, but his engine let him down, I believe. Uh, the Matt Newson team worked all night to swap an engine for him, so that's a credit to them and hopefully Jaden can do them proud today. Hi, uh, I'm Ashley England, eight, uh, three, four, six. Um, hopefully this race goes really well for me. We'll see how it goes, but um, starting so far back, it's going to be hard to win. But you never know; it could be all carnage. Uh, hopefully, it is carnage, and then we get through. But we'll see. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get too bad for us. But we'll uh, we'll hopefully get through all the traffic, get to the front, and maybe win it if we can but as long as we finish I'll be happy um, but it's going to be one of the races you can't call it uh, what's your experience I guess um, I've, I've done Brisker Formula 2 as well um, I've raced in their world final as well got fifth in that um, obviously I've, I've raced these for two years now um, doing one off meetings every other year but then last year finally decided to get in my own car and uh, we've been racing for two years 
and I've won a couple of finals. So. Um, well, I've seen one of them's on the third row, so uh, looks like he was going good last time here, so I think they'll probably do well tonight, but uh, we will see as it's a stock car race, anything can happen. Do you think it's going to be a team's race, or is it going to be an individual race? Yeah, well, I think everyone's going to be after Tom, but if he gets away, it's going to, going to be hard to catch him. Hi, I'm Aaron Leach, uh, driver of number 70. Uh, first time in a world final, so and starting so far back, I think it's uh, going to be difficult. But I'm just going to try and find my feet in uh, in the first few laps. Hope I can get through them. And I'm in a tarmac car at the moment, so if uh, if it dries out, I might have half a chance of getting up there. Um, a finish is what I'm hoping for. Top ten, yeah, the champagne's coming out. Um, like I say, it's my. F I did one meeting last year uh, here at Kings Lynn on Shale, and that didn't really go to plan. So I think starting a little bit further back is going to let me, you know, get to grips with the track a little bit and uh, see what the car's like, really. Uh, sponsors, mainly my dad at Shaw Tires. Uh, he does so much for us. That's that, that's key. Um, Right price auctions, he uh, he puts as much as he can into us and Boundary Garage and uh, Brian Evans for making the car look as do good as it does. Uh, it won't after a couple of laps around here like, but at the moment, yeah, looks pretty well. Hi, I'm Sam Jacklin, uh, 137. Uh, it's my first first world final. Um, I qualified through the, the last chance last chance race, which, which I won last time here. That's dusty. And then... Um, yeah, with 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 the, with the first white top to qualify in, uh, I think it's 10 years. So that's a great achievement. And um, no, we're just we're just here for the for the just just to be part of it. And uh, we'll see what happens in the race. So uh, there's some there's some good, you know, people come over. You know, the obviously the, the Kiwis are good, the the Dutch are good. You know, there's a few roles behind me. So. Take it, take it as it comes and see what happens. How have you done on this track? Do you know the track well? Uh, last time, last time here we, we won. We we set a really fast lap time. Um, but we'll, uh, yeah. I mean, we know the track. I mean, the car's not so good in the wet. But hopefully, if, if the track can dry out, we should we should be there there towards the end. So, uh, you know, it's the same for everyone. The wall's just as hard, and uh, we'll, we'll be making sure that we've got to use that front bumper on the uh, on the front to get through the pack. All right, uh, welcome to Speedway the Inside Dirt. We're coming to you uh, from Kingsland, England, for the F1 Stock Car World Final Day. Uh, awesome day here, but uh, we'll quickly catch up with our world finalists. We've got William Humphreys, 94NZ, Malcolm Natai, Jaden Ward, Jordan Deer. Uh, they raced last night in the international night, so we'll quickly start off with uh, William. William, the uh, last night. You uh, picked up a second, almost a, almost a first there in the constellations. So how did the final go for you there, mate? Um, oh, we were battling car issues all night. It rained no clutch all night. We had to get pushed on the track by the tractor every time and started in gear. But we got through the night. They um, tried some things in the final. It didn't quite pay off and they actually ended up blowing the gearbox. But, yeah, so the final wasn't as good. But, yeah, that constellation managed to pick up a second, led a few laps. And, yeah, we're pretty happy with how the car's going then. And uh, Malcolm, uh, Malcolm Natai wrecked his car pretty much last time out here at Kings Lynn. Did you manage to do the same last night here? Yeah, pretty much the same, yeah. But you felt like it went a bit better th for you in general, though? The car, like, you're, you're developing it a bit more for today, though? Yeah, well, once we got some brakes in the car and it's starting to do the right things, we're starting to get the feel of it. But, um, you know, it would have been nice a week ago to have that car. But, um, yeah, hey, we've got what we got and we're going to do the best we can. So, um Looks like uh, there's a couple of us up in the field and a couple of us near the back, so me and Will look like we're blocking. Jaden Ward, you were um, you were a pretty standout driver in your heat until unfortunately the car started dying off. Uh, what ended up happening there? Uh, it just got slower and slower every lap. Um, I had a quick look at the temperature gauge, didn't see too much wrong with it. Carried on, seen the steam starting to piss out. Oh, that's had enough. Ran out of power, might as well pull off. We're not going anywhere. So how did you uh, how did you 
how did you manage to fix it up for the uh, rest of the night, or you call it quits? Uh, we called it quits. The engine was toast. Um, we're involved with a very good team over here. With Matt Newson and his boys, they are um, very good operators at what they do. Had a spare engine in Norwich, went back there, grabbed it, came back that night. And it was all plumbed up that night, and we were good to go this morning. So all ready to go 2 o'clock this morning, I think it was, eh? Yeah, we fired up around 2, yeah. Jordan there, uh, Jordan qualified actually through his uh, his heat in 7th place. So Jordan, that must be pretty positive. You are qualifying straight through to the final. You must be pretty happy with how the car's running. Yeah, I guess last night I was just trying to get some laps in and get used to the car. I mean, I've raced here before and I sort of know the track and I um, was just trying to get used to the car. And I started off the back of the blue group, so I was near the back. So uh, managed to pick up, up a few spots and, and the heat ran really well and I ended up finishing seventh. So I was pretty confident going into the final that I had some good pace, but um, done five or six laps and I bent the front bumper corner around and that was the race over So and the night over. But... Yeah, if I can keep the pace that I had in the heat and just stay smooth, um, yeah, I've got as good a chance as these other four hot rods to uh, three hot rods to uh, maybe get a podium spot. We move on to the time trials today, and uh, the time trials didn't didn't go too bad, I suppose. You guys all putting together one, well, two laps each. We'll start off. We'll go back with Jordan. Uh, Jordan, you ended up, I think, finishing about right, or well, starting on row six or something like that. Uh, you happy with that time or just sweet to get out there on the grid really? Yeah, yeah, I uh, I think I qualified six out of the overseas drivers, um, which was all right. It just means I'm on the outside grid. Uh, I think I'm about grid 18. So it's probably going to be a lot of chaos in there. So not ideal, but I mean, I was happy with how the car went in the time trials. So it's got the speed. I've just got to be able to stay out of the crap. Jaden Ward was our top Kiwi driver. He finished up in fourth place. Uh, Jaden, pretty stoked to be the top Kiwi driver and start out there on. Uh, I think you're on. I think you're the one on row six on uh, grid 12. Yeah, I was pretty good to do it, but it's only a time, mate. Nothing good about that. <laughs> um, yeah, we're starting on grid 12, so it's going to be hectic going into the first corner. You know, we're stuck out by the wall, but it is what it is. Just send it on the first corner, eh? Just send it, mate. We'll lick the stamp and send it. And then we go over to. Uh, Two of our back markers, we can call them, but they're pretty stoked to be at the back. Uh, Malcolm Nartai, William Humphreys. Malcolm, how'd you find that uh, one lap dash out there on track? Yeah, no, it was good. Uh, never ripped the car off. Um, brought it back in one piece. You actually did damage the car because you lost the transponder during the race, uh, during the lap. No, that was gone from last night. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had our best lap was the one they never recorded. So, um, well, I'm going to live with the fame of that. And uh, I sneaked in front of Will, so that's pretty good. <laughs> But, uh, you know, the car's all right. We've got, um, I'm just starting to get the handle of it now. So, yeah, as I say, a few more laps would have been nice. But um, I've been wrecking it, not racing it, so. Do you think starting near the back actually kind of helps? Well, it might mean I might finish. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm a bit of luck. We'll let a bit of shit go on up the front and um, a bit of, uh, hopefully a few gone before we get up there and if we get up there. But, uh, yeah, we just have to look out for the damage because there'll be cars going everywhere. It's... Um, if it's like last night, it's chaos, and um, it's just luck that you don't get caught up in it. So, yeah, a lot of luck that us boys sneak through. Um, really a whole lot of luck for Jaden. He's up the front, and um, if he can poke his car in the right direction, um, it'll be really good to see him in that front you know, front three or four cars in the final. And uh, William Humphreys, William, mate, your car had a fair bit of damage, so you ended up racing Danny Wayman's car. Tell us a little bit about what happened there and how come you ended up in Danny's car. Um, yeah, as we went to take my car, well, we finally just got my car repaired and driven up to the track for the time trials. Um, and as we got to the gate, couldn't select gears. So, yeah, jumped out of that. Dan Danny Wayneman, who I was borrowing, oh, the, I'm using his other car, let me run and jump in his good car, which he's using in the world final. Went out and spun some laps in that, but it's just completely different driving setup. So, just ended up 11th on the 11th out of the overseas, 11th out of 12th, but. Definitely a good car, but just needed a few more laps really to try to get a good lap in. But we're out there. <laughs> Overall, quickly then, uh, looking forward to this world final race. What's the the ultimate plan, I guess, uh, once you're out on track, and, and how much are you really looking forward to getting out there and and uh, doing the business for New Zealand?
Um, no, nah, it should be good. You know, just watch the back. Oh, whoops, watch the carnage unfold, um, and hopefully not get too excited and drive into it. But no, nah, it should be good getting out of there for these guys and be a bit of fun, really. And we're here to try finish, keep all the wheels on the car pumped up, and we'll see how we get on. Yeah, um, I'd like to bring my car home in one piece. Um, the odds are very bad against um, Wreck It Ralph's, my new nickname over here. Uh, the, the English gave me a name of Wreck It Ralph. They've never gone through so many spears, but we did warn them, and uh, we're on our last lot. So if we trash her in the final, um, that'll be us for the weekend. But um, we'll see how Wreck It Ralph goes. And then we got Jaden Ward and Jordan there. As I said, to these two, world final race. Uh, you guys are probably in the in the mix of it mid-pack. What's the, the plan and, and how much are you really looking forward to getting out there on track? Well, we've got some very experienced guys starting in front of me. So my plan from the start is just follow them, try to get through that first lap or two, get, let the carnage sort itself out, and hopefully follow one of those boys home, follow some good lines and see where it takes us. Yeah, I just want to survive those first couple of laps and, and go from there, but it'll be awesome to get one of us for home on the on the podium and... Yeah, that'll be the ultimate, but uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to getting out there and hopefully finishing the race. There we go, there's our four drivers. The uh, the stage is set for the world final. Uh, we've got Frankie Wayman Jr. and Tom Harris off the front. The four Kiwis, they're well and truly in the mix. Malcolm and William, they're down the back. They're going to watch it all unfold in front of them and sneak through and take a take a win. Either that or they're going to wait for the leaders to come round while uh, Jaden and Jordan are out the front winning the race. But um, until uh, after the world final... Uh, go the Kiwis and we'll catch you then. All right, here we are, Kingsland. It's a 2019 F1 Stock Car World Championship, and we've got the pole sitter and current British champion, Tom Harris. Tom, uh, back home, we, we hear a lot about F1 racing, and you've featured a lot in what we've heard of late. Um, for a lot of reasons, we like back home because uh, you're using the bumper, as some people are using the bumper on you, but now it's world final. Uh, what what are you what are you hoping for? You're on pole. You're in that key spot. How much are you, are you pumped for this world final? Oh, I can't wait. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to the race, and uh, hopefully I can just get away and get my job done. And uh, you know, if someone uses the bumper on me, they better make sure it stops in the wall because they'll definitely pay for it. So we we could see out there. What what we want to see is obviously we want to see a Tom Harris world champion. But uh, if we don't see a Tom Harris world champion, what we could, what we might see is a lot of Tom Harris, the teams race to come out in them. Yeah, we might have to go teams racing. Hey, <laughs> I've uh, it's been a while since I've been in teams, and uh, the last time I raced teams, I didn't race for the Team GB. So I raced for Gisborne with Pete Rees and the Rees boys. So um, I enjoy team racing, and I, and I enjoy racing. I enjoy the crashing. You know, I enjoy going fast, but I enjoy the crashing as well. So um, the guys that are messing with me, I don't think they realise how much I enjoy it. Do you, so, do you think uh, if Eddie Hearn was here, the, the boxing promoter, he'd have a field day with what's going on, you reckon? Oh, he'd love it. You know, I did an interview here for, after the last meeting at Kings Lynn, and it's got 54,000 views, and the other video is like two or 3,000. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's good for the sport, and the, the sport needs this, you know, the aggro and stuff to, to keep going forward. So, uh, so hopefully it's a good race for the fans, and uh, I can be stood on that top step after the race. Now, a bit more serious note. The world final you've won it before how much would it mean for you to win it again uh what what would it mean for tom harris going forward in his stock car career as well it means the world you know it's a massive achievement to win the world final you know i've got no pressure because i had more pressure defending it at coventry than i did when i won it um you know we've got i've got nothing to lose out there you know maybe a few scores to settle or maybe you know people set up some scores for me it's it's one of them things you can't predict it stock car racing I've got the speed, you know, if it was a speed race, you know, I'd, I'd, I've got the pace so I, I could, uh, you know, get off and win, but it's a stock car race, so uh, hopefully I can still be there at the end of it. Do you think the uh, sprint car racing has definitely helped you out with, with coming back in, in the stock car racing and uh, helped you get more speed out of yourself rather than the car? Yeah, my uh, my car control from racing at those speeds in America is um, it's, uh, considerably better than what it ever has been. and. I don't know how I do it, but all I know is I'm hard on equipment now. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Davidson, we've uh, we've blown three motors here this year, just to um, you know on the throttle so much due, due to racing the sprint car. 
Um, but yeah, it's you know it's all about keeping it straight and going fast. So uh, the sprint cars definitely helped me. And plus, you know, averaging 130 to averaging probably 40 or 50 is a huge difference. So um, it's made me, you know, gaps open up for me and you know get through traffic a lot easier. So uh, yeah, the sprint car racing definitely helped me. And then. Uh as you're, you're probably New Zealand's favourite British driver. We're going to see you back in New Zealand, whether it be teams racing, whether it be for GB or another team, or even sprint car racing in New Zealand. We've uh, we've just been talking about sprint car racing for the the New Zealand champs. We've just been talking about that, you know, a couple of hours ago. Too, yeah. Yes, in Palmy. So we've just been talking about that, and then it just depends when the dates for because of Chili Bowl, and the you know, the American stuff so hard to come by. I need to do it while I get the opportunity. Yeah. So uh, that's going to take priority, if I'm honest. But, you know, I won the British this year, so I get a ticket to the invitation to the World 240s. So, you know, if it all pans out, then maybe, you know, I could be at the 240s and then do the sprint car thing and then fly straight to Florida. So we'll just have to see how it all pans out and uh, how we're doing on the important thing, money. Yep. Oh, well, Tom, hey, good luck for the uh, World Final. There's uh, plenty of Kiwis cheering for you. On the, ki- the Kiwis, how much of a threat do you think these Kiwis are this year? They, that's a young bunch of guys that, that are out there. Yeah, well, we was, <laughs> it's funny, actually. We've just been talking before and... Uh, I think I'm okay with the Kiwis. Um, you know, I was going to race for the uh, the, the, Glen the, the, the Glen Eagles at the Team Champs last year. Uh, unfortunately, that you know my schedule with America, I couldn't make it. So uh, I think I'm pretty safe for those guys today. You think so, eh? Hey, look, uh, Tom, all the best for the World Final. Uh, we'll catch up with you after the race regardless because uh, I can tell either you're going to be winning it or we're going to see plenty of action from that front bumper. Oh, that's definitely it. You know, if, I, if I'm not going to win, there'll be plenty of action, plenty to talk about. Awesome. Cheers, Tom. Thanks, guys. Thank you. For number 84, it's Tom Harris! So here we go. Up next on the raceway, making his 30th world final appearance. Three times race winner, 1998 in Coventry, 2004 in Coventry, and 2016 in Coventry. Please put your hands together for so here we go then, let's get our next world finalist out of the raceway. World final, number 14, best finish was 4 for 2011. Please bring out the for Paul Hines. So here we go, let's bring our next world finalist out onto the raceway. Here he comes. In his 10th world final race winner in 2012 at Skegness, please put your hands together for 217, it's Lee Mahomes! Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Holland driver 618, ladies and gentlemen, it's Vaughn de Vries! Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for H880, Neil Chatterer! Up next on the raceway, a man who has made his 12th world final appearances, best finish third in 2015 at Kingsley, it's number 16, Martin Newton! So here we go, a driver who gave a great interview last night, world final at number 7, best finish second in 2017 at Ipswich, please put your hands together for Ryan Harrison! So good luck to Ryan now, up next on the raceway in his 10th world final, best finish 7th of country in 2016, please put your hands together for 2-1-2, it's Danny Weyman! <laughs> up next on the raceway in his 12th world final, best finish 2nd in 2011, the Northampton in 2012 at Skegness, it's number 4, Dan Jackson! Fuck! 
absolutely flying uh, well. There was certainly a bit of a movement on the first bend, Tom, but uh, the action came in, but you managed to come out of it the other side. I knew it was coming. I uh, strengthened my car this week to, uh, to go, go around the plate, and uh, thankfully my body um, put up with it. I didn't get to sleep this time. <laughs> absolutely very true. Um, once you got away, though, I mean, you seem to be carving your way through the back markers fairly well. Yeah, it's good. It's just uh, Robert Griffin seems to be playing out today with him. I don't know what his game is, but he needs to get out of the way this time. OK, so on the restart, this is it. We need to get one or two more out of the way. Bobby Griffin, uh, the man who uh, needs to make way for the man who's currently leading this race. He's not having another chance. He's up three. OK, oh, 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 We were speaking uh, last night and today. You yeah. said you were confident with uh, the car, and it certainly has proven that way so far. Yeah, I mean, uh, it doesn't feel too bad. Uh, just driving it like Miss Daisy at the minute. Um, need to get one car out of the way so we can get a little bit closer to have a little bit of a dabble at Tom, but we can see he's got pace, and uh, if someone doesn't get to him, then uh, good luck to him. Okay, so that's it. One back marker out of the way, and then uh, you feel it's game on. Well, uh, I'm not here to come second. I've been second, I've been third, I've never won it, so that's all I'm interested in, but um, hopefully there's not too big of a queue in the food queue later on, and some more sausage and chips. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it from Ryan Harrison! <laughs> <laughs> that's some more sausage and chips. Uh, Frank, a lively start. It all happened, you got caught with Paul Hines down there, just not enough contact, and then of course it was feeling your way back in for a couple of laps, but you're certainly back in the mix now. Yeah, it's game on there. This is it, one back marker, Ryan's there as well, uh, you know, you feel you can get back to Tom? I think we can get to him. Okay, definitely does, so you're feeling very confident? Yeah, just look, just sat there in the mirror, look. Yeah, okay, we might have a quick shout, good luck Frank Miller and stuff. Let's hear it from Frankie Wayman Jr. <laughs>
to thank Auto Tech Recruitment for their sponsorship on the headline of the year here at the Frisco 4 1 Championship of the World. Round they come then for your applause. Congratulations go to our race winner and world champion for 2019, 84, Tom Harris. We've got one more to join us. And we've got second and third there behind Ryan Harrison coming home in second, Craig Finnick in for third, and our top Dutch driver as well, Yelly Tesla. Round they come for your applause. Please raise the roof for the champion of the world for 2019, Tom Harris.
out with uh, 2019 Brisket F1 World Champion Tom Harris, mate. Awesome, eh? Yeah, it uh, sounds pretty good, don't it? Um, I don't know. It's been uh, I got to guess such a long time since I won it last time, and uh, yeah, I don't think it's sunk in yet. But you know, it's an incredible feeling, and uh, just can't thank everybody. You know, Davidson's, my family, everybody for making this possible for me. Because you know, without those guys, I wouldn't even race a stock car. You're a two-time world champion now. Is that is that even better? Yeah, I guess so. Because then it wasn't just a, a lucky fluke, was it? You know, um, you know, anybody can win a race once, and uh, you know, to back it up with that is uh, superb. And like I say, you know, can't thank the guys enough behind me for, uh, you know, keeping my head in line, and you know, all the fans booing and cheering. It, you know, it just makes you want to strive and do better. So, uh, you know, thanks to those guys. There was heaps of hype and going into this race, as we spoke about earlier. Uh, did the hype live up to the expectation? No, I was quite disappointed, really. <laughs> Um, I knew that um, I wanted to get in front of Frankie because I knew that if he was going to do me, he had one chance. And uh, when he hit me in the side, it was fucking foot in the gas, and we went around the wall, and it, you know we shrank shrunk from the car and it done its job. Um, so yeah, I knew. And then when I got into back markers, I was praying. I didn't want any yellows, but you know you're going to get them, aren't you? So luckily, I had a couple of back markers between me and uh, the guys, and. Uh, yeah, a couple I, of Kiwis there too. Yeah, a couple, a couple of Kiwis. Got a shotgun there for uh, you. And we we uh, we already just spoke about this, and uh, yeah. you know it was uh, they were on my side, so I had 30 against me and four with me. So uh, yeah, it was um, it was pretty cool. And then on a couple of restarts, I just wanted to make sure I got a gap off the start, and I managed to pull it off. And uh, and then basically it was just like save my tyres and uh, you know keep my head and not make any stupid mistakes. Did it feel like it was dragging on out there a bit, or, or was it just such a quick race? It, uh, the second half went really fast. The, the, up to the caution, it seemed like it was dragging, but um, the caution, I had to straighten my seat and tighten my belts back up and readjust myself back in the car. And when Frankie put me in, it's done something to the pedals. I think the pedals are going to cross because the brake was jamming on, and I had to keep pulling the brake back on my left foot. And but hey, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. We we done the job and we managed to get there at the end. So uh, over the moon. World champion once again, mate. So the car. What happens after the race? How, what, what, hap- what process did you have to go through? Because you, you haven't raced at all after the World Final tonight. Probably didn't even want to. Probably just wanted to get straight into the drinking, mate. But what, what process do they go through with your cars? They've, uh, they've had all four shocks. Uh, they've taken brake all four. Well, they've taken uh, four out of the eight brake pads. Um, they've checked the rev limiter. They've checked uh, the fuel. They've checked the diff. They've checked, they've had the gearbox and ballast on, checked the clutch. So yeah, there was no chance we was going to get back. But besides, the World Champion gets 100 points and loads up for the day. So uh, yeah, over the moon. So uh, Northampton, do you, you're going to go to Northampton tomorrow. What's the plans? Yeah, we're definitely going to go, but I don't think I'll be in this car because the, the motor gone sick. When Frankie put me in the wall, um, it's, it's lost like 30 pound of oil pressure and it started smoking pretty heavy. And so... It's my American motor, and I don't want to damage it. So I think we're going to, hopefully, we've got another car we can take. It's just a tarmac car, so I won't be on the pace, but I'll be there. Check the gold wing on, though. Yeah, I know that I'll have a hangover, too. So, yeah, hopefully we get a gold wing, and uh, I'm not sure if we're going to take number one or keep 84. I've not decided yet. And uh, what do you want to say to, I guess, all the fans, all the haters, all the Kiwis? Final words from uh, Tom Harris, the uh, world champion. That's a, That's a tough question, but yeah, I've been accused of being a dosser and uh, get home, I'm spoiled and don't work for a living, but hey, if anybody's in my shoes, they'd take the job, so uh, like I said, I'd like to thank all the haters and all the people that have been whinging and moaning and still trying to get me banned on Thursday this week, because do what you want now, you can stick it. Awesome, mate, hey, well done, the thank Kiwis you. love it, thank we you. want to see you back in New Zealand too. Yeah, hopefully. I'll have to ask the boss if I'm allowed. She's frowning at that. It's a long way. And uh, she's frowning. World champion. We need the world champion. She just said no. That that means I'm not coming. (laughs) The boss has spoken. It's a no. We'll work on it. You guys need to work on it.